All righty, all righty. Welcome back to another episode of Your Support Group Podcast. As always, it's Kenny and Q. Q has been on her Instagram stuff, showing all her booty meats. We're going to talk about that. You know, it's, it's bad when your bruh just scrolling on Instagram was like, damn, who? Oh, I was like, that, oh, 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 no, 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 no. We can't be looking. Can't right. be looking. <laughs> uh, so what's been going on with you today, Q? I, we just got back from the other side of Florida. We went to the East Coast over there at Boca, Boca Raton. Okay. Got so, you some Atlantic in. Yeah. That's and we got up. back today. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, well, you didn't get a tan. I hate to tell you that. You got robbed. So. <laughs> I was born with a tan. <laughs> I tell people that all the time. I'm going down to the beach. Hopefully I tan a little bit, you know, give me a little bit of shade to my skin, you know, so I can go <laughs> right here pretending like I'm Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> Check yourself, Q. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but so I know you've been looking on social media and I'm talking to everybody right now. So I know y'all been looking on social media. You've been seeing the memes left and right. Uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, It's just been an ongoing thing. And I I keep on saying, like, why do because I had to fact check some of that because at first I thought it was like uh, she was just being basically abused after the whole slap gate um basically like as far as like social media goes so i thought people were just throwing it under the bus and saying little things and some of that stuff was fake no a lot of that stuff she's been saying coming up out of her mouth and it's just been adding fuel to the fire yeah now i know well i know that you know Monique has been on and off again with saying little things about people and stuff like that, but she made a valiant point. She said, that's none of her business. And for once, somebody actually said something that really mattered. Now, I know it probably get ignored because it wasn't salacious or it wasn't extreme or it wasn't normal Monique, but Monique basically said, you know, what happens in somebody's marriage is none of my business. You know what I'm saying? I could care less. You know, long as they both healthy and happy and nobody's dead, that's their business, right. you know? And that's the that's the truth, you know, because nobody wants to know what's going on in your house. And also, I'm just like Monique on the whole situation. It ain't none of my business. It ain't none of my concern. I could care less, you know, because Brandy and I believe her name is Jennifer Lewis got a a very good song called I Don't Want Nobody Messing With Me In These Streets. (laughs) So I don't put my business out there in the streets. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that was uh, my whole point when I made my comment. It's just like, it's there's certain things like if if it floats your boat, cool. Like if you want to be in the middle of a desert, knocking boots surrounded by rattlesnakes that's that's your business i don't need to know that i don't care unless i'm involved in it it ain't my business and like when can we get back to that like even though you're a public figure everybody don't need to know all the intricate details of your because my whole thing is if it's that serious if you feel that strongly about this other person in regards to the person that you're with <clears throat> why would you even be with that person right I'm not going to put the person I'm with through that type of shame and embarrassment I don't know that's just me <laughs> excuse me and also please don't come in the comments bashing that lady because that's not what this is about either. Nope. We're not bashing her. We're not making fun of him because I feel like in our community we we do too much. We do. We when do. people are going through a traumatic situation, it's not the time to make jokes. 
but I know the internet is going to internet, so here we are. But yeah, it's not a, a bashing her session. It's just when in your marriage, you, you like to do certain things, you like to to do whatever. That's just what you and your person. Right. Shouldn't be on social media that you like threesomes or you like thumbs in your butt. Nobody cares. Listen to me. Nobody cares. Only thing's going to happen is you're going to end up getting your feelings hurt. Um, right. When I was younger, I was notorious for telling my business, you know, um, this is like late teens, early twenties, Kenny, you know what I'm saying? So I was real welcoming to having that open door and that open discussion. Oh, I was an open book. You know, I tell you anything. I don't care. Da, 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 da. And then I realized that some people are triggered by your happiness. So they sit around and they wait for those moments. <laughs> right. For you to say something bad and they jump right. Oh man, I was been going to tell you, man, you know, and that's thing you know, you all messed up in the head. Cause now regardless of you saying, Oh, you know, it's, it's none of their business or it's none of their concern, but you've put other people into your business and now they're saying things and it got you thinking like you're, you're, you're trying to stay on that path of, oh, yeah, man, that was just one time, you know, da, 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 and I made a mistake and I said too much. But yeah, da. but you thinking about what that person said. And that's why you when you add extra strife and extra problems into a relationship by inviting another person into your house that wasn't that's not even a part of your household. Yeah, <laughs> because why? Look, and I'm all for people telling their story. Like if you're going through some type of trauma and you need that as a part of your healing. Okay, fine. Do it once. Keep the the story. If, it, if that's what happened, keep the story consistent and let it be. But don't like every time you got something like, oh, I'm going to sell this book. Let me go ahead and make this comment right here. That's going to drive the Internet wild. And it, that ain't no. it. <laughs> you know, it's just like, I, I don't know. It's just me or I don't know if I'm the only person that feels that way. I, I just, even, like I, I was married before the person I'm with. Even though me and that person went through a lot, I'm not about to be on the internet talking crazy about him. You know what I mean? Like, right. there's a lot of stuff that happened. It's just like, it was a relationship. I went through my healing. I got to a point where I'm okay. Like, I've forgiven him and I've moved on. So, boom. It's, it's done. Right. All right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, you know, I mean, like like you said, you know, you you create this book or whatever and you want to add this 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 bang boom pow to it but my thing is in, in jada's case she's 52 she knows better you know what i'm saying if she was as she says this hustler or this this baby queen pin um in 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 formation that she says that she was she know the the, the workers of the game you keep your business out the street. You know what I'm saying? You you don't tell the left hand what the right hand is doing. You don't you don't tell your business. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just a part of hust, hustle. You know what I'm saying? It's the best kept secret. You stay hush about every last thing that you do. Don't tell nobody your movements. You know what I'm saying? So if you're in a relationship, the same philosophy applies. You know what I'm saying? That's your relationship. That's something that you're building. That's something that you're hustling up to. You know what I'm saying? You want it to be a great relationship. You don't tell nobody you hustle. You know what I'm saying? You don't tell nobody your business. Um, she, and I'm, I'm not bashing, but like I said, she's what, 52? You know, her and Tupac was around one another when they was in their 20s. You know what I'm saying? 20s and teens. You talking about some stuff like 30 years ago. You know what I'm saying? It's great that you have these stories, but... Leave it in your book mm -hmm. or, or create a book, say Tupac and me, but realize and recognize that you got a whole husband that may not feel <laughs> <laughs> like hearing these things about 
another man. You know what I'm saying? You know, so like I said, this is why you need to keep your business out the street because now you look very disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? And and ladies, if if you're doing men like this, I suggest you cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Because nothing nothing's worse than being made into a little man, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is worse than being belittled or 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 lowered as a man. That that bothers even me just thinking about that stuff out loud, you know what I'm saying? Right now, talking about it bothers me as a man. Like, motherfucker, if you do this shit, <laughs> I keep dead. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it, it you know because because men we we have pride regardless even even the most spineless weak man has pride right you know yeah and once that pride is triggered, know about the, the male ego you know it's it can be fragile you oh, know yeah. i even as a woman i don't want to if my husband was sitting there telling stories about some woman he always could never stop thinking about, I'd be like, you can go ahead and be with that girl. <laughs> go, go on, go ahead on. Let me set you free. Go on. Bye. Have, have a nice day. Right. Because you're not about to be embarrassing me. I'm going I'm to I'm let you go where you want to be. Yeah, because it's obvious you're not happy here. <laughs> if you got to constantly talk about somebody else, you're not happy here. <laughs> you're wasting both of our time. Not just your yeah. time, but my time too. L- mm-hmm. Let me be. Yeah. yeah. And so I can go back to Margaret Robbie. Oh, I ain't supposed to say that. Okay. I'll edit that. <laughs> he was happy with her. <laughs> right. And she was happy with little boys. Yeah. That what happened. Got popped by that little boy. And all of a sudden, all this stuff just went downhill. Yeah, but like I said, if from jump, even with her talking about this little boy, if she would have kept her business up out of the street, whatever relationship problems they had, they could have worked on it. It could have been went to go see a counselor, all this other stuff. They could have worked on all that. Why would it take for you to say some things and then for your husband to get up there and slap Chris Rock, who is probably about the size of this microphone and I'm Will <laughs> Smith and I just get up here and just say, ah, you know what I'm saying? Like right. He, right then and there, like he was losing control. You know what I'm saying? He had lost control. You know, he went, he, he seen something that he felt triggered by or angered by that he knew he could defeat. See, he can't, couldn't, couldn't do that to his wife. He had to do it to somebody else. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm saying. You know, and they could have went to counseling and dealt with all this stuff if they would have just kept their business out the street. Once you put it out there, regardless of who you are, you could be famous, not famous, but I guarantee you it's going to be somebody that's going to cause you to feel triggered because you put your business out there on the street. I am yeah. a need to, I am a need to know person. I only put out there what you need to know. Yeah. Other than that, that's it. That's yeah. it. Right. Because it's like people don't need, like I said before, people don't need to know all the intricate details. Like if you're going through some things and you need to to go talk to somebody, I'm all for going getting whatever help you need. Talk it through, unpack it. And then let it be what it is. But you know, and here's the thing that really, because a lot of people keep coming out and saying, well, like one statement was, y'all want out of the group chat, but do y'all want out of uh, Taylor Swift and Kelsey, uh, what that boy name is who played for Kansas City? Yeah, Kelsey. Kelsey, Travis Kelsey or whatever chat? his name. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want out of that group chat too, because yeah. it's, it's of no significance to me. Nope. But then there, it's like you're making a false comparison because with that, it's just, it's just like, to me, that's just whatever. Puppy love. But this is like some serious business. Yeah. This is your, this is a person that you've been with for years. You have children with this person. 
You know, y'all, y'all are a unit. Why every four to five years, some new crazy thing right. is coming out? It's like, yeah, no, no me importa. Yeah, callate por favor. No más. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> just stop. Let it be what it is. Like if you let this be the last, last, last little tidbit. You y'all were separated since 2016. Okay. Great. Again, not details. <laughs> That I really, you know, I, and I don't want to seem cold-hearted, but or maybe I'm just, maybe I am cold-hearted. I just don't care. Who gives a? <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, because uh, I you mean, can stay friends in a relationship. I know okay. he said that they weren't, they weren't going to ever get. He didn't believe in divorce, so in a, in a way. You know, you you like that, sir. So I can't really say like people are like, oh, she's doing him so wrong. But he he apparently is OK with it because he's still there. And if he's not OK with it, that's the unhealthy part that I'm talking about. Both sides are being very unhealthy because you keep bringing up things about another person when you're married to someone. And then you you're choosing to stay in something that's toxic. Not Right. Destructive. It's not, not filling you. Not it, it's not inducive not to the career that you currently have. You're you were on your way to be in the next everything as far as like black actors go. Mm -hmm. One simple one simple thing changed all that when you went up there and smacked that guy. Right. What was that? What was the cause of that? You know what? And this is just me being 100% honest. You know, it was a lot of things in my childhood that could make me a real angry person um, that could cause me to feel boxed in. But I don't take that out on nobody. You know what I'm saying? What I do is I talk to God about it. You know what I'm saying? That's my that's my <clears throat> my counsel. You know what I'm saying? I, I talk to God about it, you know, and and get it up off my chest. And I leave it back there because what I got in front of me is more spectacular, more beautiful than anything that's behind me. So why? Why would I say that it was some things in my past before my marriage that caused me to act that way? No, nah, partner. No, 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 no. You can tell a lot of somebody else. That's that woman. Women make you do crazy stuff. Trust me, I'm a man. Women can cause you to do some crazy things. Straight out of character. Look, <laughs> the movies that I, the shows that I watch from Troy, how he let his whole life, I know that's based on myth, but still the story is you let some punani cause you the, the whole destruction of your entire race of people. Is it fiction? Right. I mean, <laughs> they say, I look, did some research and they were like, oh, it's based on myth or whatever. But I don't know. There's to me, there's always some t type of truth behind these stories. Exactly. Um, then another story I'm watching is called the Tudors, which is based on Henry the eighth. He was married to a perfectly good woman Everybody loved Queen Catherine. And then you let some woman come into your your kingdom and cause you to go bananas <laughs> and divorce, cause a whole split from the Roman Catholic Church. And then you wind up chopping off the lady head over some right. foolishness. Yeah. So there we have yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> There we have it. Outlaw all vaginas in the world. And we won't have no more wars, no problems, no nothing. Food would be cheaper. Gas would be cheaper. Life would be so much better. No more vaginas. No more. Say nah, no to vaginas. Y'all ain't going to know what to do with yourself. But anyway. I mean, come on. Think about it. A man goes out, not for other men, 
but for women, go get a haircut, shape his mustache and his beard up, wear nice clothes, smell good. All this stuff for women, because the average man, when he's not around a woman or he has no place to go or do anything, he ain't shaving. He ain't going to go get no haircut. He ain't even ironing his clothes. He's just going to throw on a T-shirt, throw on some basketball shorts, throw on some sneakers, go to the store and be like, yeah. <laughs> but when there's women involved, when he know that it's the first of the month or whatever, the first through the 15th, and he know he got to go to Walmart, and clothes, everything. Man, I got to give me some toothpaste and some deodorant, man. I'm low. <laughs> and look, Walmart even got some barbershops in there. They be sitting up there catcalling while getting shaped up. They did they did Because I had to turn my head around. It was like, pss, 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 pss. right back at a dude who went pss, 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 to my wife. Yeah. So I, I turned around and was like, pss, pss, pss. yeah. Yep. <laughs> but like I said in the beginning, keep your business out the streets. Why? Because like Brandy, Miss Jennifer Lewis said, I believe that's her name. I love yeah. that lady. But uh, I don't want nobody <laughs> messing with me in these streets. So I keep my yeah. business up out of them. And that's a simple, that's a simple thought. That's a simple philosophy. And I, I advise you, you know, no matter how angry, no matter how mad, no matter how vindic- vindictive you want to be, uh, you want to get revenge. You want to put put them out there. Um, you know all this other stuff you want to do. Don't put it on social media because once it's out there, you can't take it back. And especially right. you know females, y'all start doing that little catty batty stuff. Y'all be like, "See, I told you he was nothing. I told you something like that." And 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 then dude, her and dude still friends on Facebook, so he's scrolling through all this, and he like, "I knew she right. didn't like me," and she was fronting. Yeah, I let her borrow twenty dollars. Damn, you, you know you you start going through all the back past stuff in your mind and stuff, and then a couple weeks later. She back with him. But because yeah. you put your business in the street, it won't be for long. Because, right. like, I, like I said, a man has pride. A man doesn't forget when you damage his pride. As soon as the argument happened. Well, you remember all that stuff you put about me on? Uh, uh, and it wasn't even true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm doing you like this. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it can very well be vice versa because, you know, you got some women that, that act like they dudes up out here. <laughs> now I was just gonna say, um, unless it's something that involves your safety or the other person's safety, just of course try to figure it out amongst yourselves. Seek professional help. There's people out here and it's very accessible now. You know, back in the day, mental health was a taboo. Nobody wanted people to know they were seeing seeing people. Especially when you're black. Now it's do it. You can get it online. There are people who offer it via Zoom. There's no excuses. You can do it via iPhone. There's all types of ways you can get mental health. And if you have insurance, I think there's a way that they they cover some portions of it. A lot of so, insurance companies cover it now more than ever. Um, ever since the pandemic, I think they started putting it on their roster of things that they do cover. I think the copay yeah. might be a little bit on the outrageous side, but a lot of them do cover. Yeah. That, or if you can't afford that, think about some group sessions where people get together and you kind of just like hash out some stuff. Because those people there, they're not psychiatrists or psychologists, but they still have some um, certifications behind their name where they know how to get you to. Right. To talk through some issues and help you realize some things. Yeah, because counseling is counseling at the end of the day. Whether you're talking to somebody that you really, truly trust, you know, and you're getting off your 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 ideas, your thoughts and everything like that and helping to clear the air. Now, you yeah, fine. fine. Helping to clear the air and, and get that stuff up off your chest, because a lot of times. A lot of issues, like we discussed during this whole episode, can be avoided just by having that person that is just listening, not talking, 
listening. And then probably, you know, you'd be like, so what should I do? Well, they go your options. And that's a real person that really there to help you through situations, not somebody like girl or, or man, I told you, man, that's not a person that you need to be counseling with. That's not a person. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So with that said, if nobody told you today that they love you, we do. Don't forget to check out our website, www.ysgpodcast.com. And yeah, remember, you don't want nobody messing with you in these streets. So keep your business up out of it. Right. <laughs> I might put that video right here at the end. Just, just, just check it out. <laughs> yep. So, all right, Q, peace out. And all right, y'all. Peace. peace. Yes, 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 yes,